Hi friends, if you are watching this video, you can see the Amazon model entry question in the Amazon model entry question. If you are telling me about solutions, if you are telling me about solutions, then you can comment. If you are telling me about the coding entry question, you can get a string input and return the string to the first non-repeating character. This is the entry question. How do you handle the coding entry question? Let's see the tips. First, in the coding entry question, you can clarify all the questions you have to clarify. First question is all about the first question. Then, you can ask all the questions about the first question. If you solve the first question, you can communicate with the first question. Think out loud. You know the first question about the first question. So, you can communicate with the first question about the first question. So, you can communicate with the first question about the first question. If you want to optimize the first question, first start with brute force solution. It's very simple to use a for loop. How do you solve it? So, if you look at the fourth point, you can learn data structures, algorithms, etc. Once you have an optimized solution, you can learn the edge cases. For example, you can learn the negative value, empty value, you can learn the edge cases. If you solve the coding interview, you can learn the goal of the readable code and the scalable code. Scalable code is what you say. For example, if you pass a file element to the input, the code is efficient. If you pass a 1 lakh element to the input, the code is efficient. So, the code is a scalable code. In the coding interview, the two terms are the most important. Time complexity and space complexity. Time complexity is what we say. We use the input to the program to execute the CPU cycles. We use the CPU cycles to determine the time complexity. For example, if you use for loops, you can use the time complexity. If you use space complexity, we use the program to be very efficient in the program. If you use the goal of the number of CPU cycles, we use the efficient memory. If you use the graph, we use the goal of the big O notations O of 1 or O of N. So, we use the goal of this section. If you use the section O of N square, it is very expensive. So, if you solve the time complexity, space complexity, we will try these notations. So, simple of O of N, for example, 10,000 elements input to pass, 10,000 interactions. So, there is a very simple for loop. If you have O of N square, 10,000 elements input to pass, 10,000 square interactions to pass the elements. So, this is a very expensive issue. In the coding interview, there are three solutions. Let's look at the first solution. The first one is brute force. Very simple, we will solve this for loop use. So, if you want to solve it, you can compare it to a character. If you compare it to a character, if you compare it to a duplicate, it will be the first non-repeating character. So, let's say the scene duplicate. If you compare it to a character, it will be a non-repeating character. This method is very expensive. Why? We use two for loops. There is a lot of comparison. This is O of N square. But, start it to this solution. So, that you will have an idea. Second solution is to use a map to use a map. So, if you use a map to use a map, we will use a map to 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 use a map. If we iterate it, we will mark the value of the map to mark the value of the map. So this is the first step. Second step is to iterate the map to use a map. So in the character, one is the first non-repeating character. So in this method, we will use brute force. It will be optimized. If you look at the comparison, it will be very small. So, the time complexity is 2 of n. So, n square is a little small. So, we will optimize it. So, the third solution is to use the index of last index. If you look at the work, a string is the same as a last index. So, the string is the same as a character. So, if you use it, we will use the first non-repeating character. If you look at the time complexity, it is O of n. If you have 10 elements, we will do 10 interactions. In the worst case, the time complexity is O of n. If you compare the two solutions, it will be a little efficient. If you look at the three solutions, we will use three methods. Brute force using hash map using index of. If you execute the three methods, you will see how many of them are. So, brute force is 0 nanoseconds. So, hash map is 0 nanoseconds. Index of is 0 nanoseconds. So, if you look at it, index of is a lot of time. The number of interactions is less. So, the solution is optimized for this index of solution. So, if you use the brute force, you can use two for loops. You can use the time to get more time. So, over a character and another character. So, the other thing is hash map. So, we use the hash map to map the character count. So, the second time is for loop. You can use the character to get one count. So, this is the hash map. So, the last thing is index of use. So, one time is for loop. 
index of last index of எந்த கேரக்டருக்கு ஈக்குவலாக இருக்குதோ அதை நம்ம ரிட்டர்ன் பண்ணிடுவோம் ஸோ இது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டைம் காம்ப்ளெக்சிட்டி ஓ ஆஃப் என் டைம் இங்கே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ரொம்ப கம்மியாக இருக்குது ஸோ இதுதான் எனக்கு தெரிஞ்ச மூணு சொல்யூஷனை கொடுத்துருக்கேன் ஹை ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இது வரைக்கும் நம்ம பேசிக்காக ஒரு கோடிங் இன்டர்வியூ கொஷன் எப்படி சால்வ் பண்ணுறேன் சொல்லி பார்த்துருக்கோம் உங்களுக்கு இந்த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்கும் நினைக்கிறேன் தேங்க்யூ ஸோ மச் ஃபார் யூர் சப்போர்ட் அண